Hey everybody, Adam here with Hometown Acres. Welcome back. So if you're new to the channel, we've got about an eight acre field here that's full of switchgrass. This field was previously leased to a farmer. They harvested the switchgrass seeds to sell for erosion control along roadsides and things like that. But switchgrass is a pain in the butt to get rid of and we don't want it here in the field. We've tried managing it ourselves with the equipment that we have, just brush hogging it three or four times a summer, hoping that we can cut it down before it goes to seed and repopulating itself. But switchgrass actually grows from its root cluster that's already established there, so it just keeps coming back. It has worked to an extent. Some of the field has started to overgrow with other wild seeds, uh, but it's still pretty present here in the field. And it's a real nuisance when you're trying to brush hog because it, it can pop your tractor tires. Trust me, I've done it twice. This whole field is also really uneven, partly due to the fact that that previous farmer had much larger equipment than what I have, so his tractor ruts are a lot deeper and wider. Also, we've got a lot of gopher holes in here, so we need to kill all this switchgrass, we need to turn it over, smooth it out, and then plant a whole new field. Uh, what we've tried to do so far is run our box blade through a section of this, and it does work. It will work to an extent, but really all we're doing is just trying to make do with the equipment that we have, and it works to an extent, but it's not really the right tool for the job. And we've been screwing around with this switchgrass for far too long, so I went out and bought the right tools for the job. Let's head up to the house and I'll show you what I got. So we went out and bought a 40 gallon, 10 foot wide boom sprayer, and this actually folds in. I'll fold it out real quick. So there's the 10 foot boom. It has four nozzles on it. They all point down. This sprayer is gonna absolutely decimate that field, which is exactly what we want. We wanna start fresh, start new and get it planted with pasture grass and just be done with that switchgrass once and for all. And then the next piece of equipment that we got is this potato plow, subsoiler, middle buster, whatever you want to call it. They're all synonymous. They all mean the same thing. Basically, it's a single bottom plow. Put it on the back of the tractor and you can dig down 12, 14 inches down into the earth, turn up all the soil. This will help get all of those root clusters out of there after they're dead. And then what I'll do is get a disc and disc the field and then we're ready to plant. All right, so while that's filling up, I'll give you a quick walk around of what's going on here. So right here is your pump. You've got your PSI gauge. This pump is automatic, so it kicks on and off to keep pressure. Uh, you've got a Y coming off here. This hose goes to your boom. This here goes to your recirculator, so it'll actually mix what you have in there. And then this hose here comes to your sprayer. And it's got two shutoff valves for each of those. And then you don't need one for the sprayer because you've got a handle with a control knob there. All right, so wiring this into the tractor battery is very simple. So right there is your wire that comes and it just runs right up along through here. And then it's not long enough to reach your battery, but it is long enough to reach your starter. So right there, I've just got it plugged into the red and black of the starter solenoid. All right, so we've got about 15 gallons in there. I haven't added any chemicals yet, but I wanted to give you just a quick demonstration of the spray pattern of this. So I'm gonna come over here and start the tractor. I forgot to mention it also has a switch here for the pump so this will turn the pump on and off so you can control the boom from the seat of the tractor so there the pumps kicking on 60 and then it shuts back off so if I go ahead and turn this valve on it'll start spraying So this actually has a pretty wide spray width. It's, it's reaching out probably a good three or four feet past the end of the boom there. All right, so I talked to a local farmer and his secret formula for wiping out a field to start over is two quarts of weed and grass killer and one quart of 2,4-D. Your weed and grass killer is the same exact stuff as uh, Roundup, same ingredients and everything, kills everything. Your 2,4-D is pretty much just for your broadleaf stuff. You can actually put this on your lawn. It won't hurt your lawn, but it'll get rid of clover and any other weeds you don't want in your lawn. All right, the pump is running the circulator. We've got it all mixed up. Let's head down to the field and start killing switchgrass.
right, so we got this whole area sprayed. That didn't take more than about 10 minutes. Uh, we'll check back in in a couple days and see if we're ready to plow. Hopefully we got some killage going on. All right, so here we are about 10 days later, and I would say this weed killer did a pretty good job. You can see the difference between where I sprayed to the left here and where I didn't spray, and I'll walk you down and show you the whole area. But yeah, this is dead as dead gets. So now that all the switchgrass is dead, I got that middle buster potato plow put on here. This is what it looks like once you get it all hooked up. You can see this will just drop right down in the ground. As long as you got it angled right, it'll dig down in and it should be able to dig probably, like I said, 12 to 14 inches or so. So the coyote is impressing me again. We got this whole field done. I'll send you up in the air with a drone shot to get an overhead look at what the finished product looks like. But this turned out really good. Uh, we got nice neat rows here. Um, I probably spaced them out a little too far. Like I still have quite a good grass clump here in the middle. So this wasn't plowed, but on either side was. It would have been nice to have gotten the whole thing plowed. But I think the rest of it, I'll be able to finish up with either a York rake, uh, the box blade that I already have, I'm thinking about renting a power rake. I can rent a six foot power rake for $75 for the day and really smooth this out. That's what they use to put in lawns and everything. And that's kind of what I'm thinking about doing here. Um, now that I got this all plowed up, I'm actually kind of thinking about maybe planting some sweet corn and selling it along with the firewood at the beer distributors next year. I don't know, let me know what you guys think on that. But yeah, the potato plow worked really well. So this plow is made by Tartar farm and ranch equipment. It worked really great. It did the whole field until about the last five minutes. That blade fell off. These, uh, I think they're shear bolts. So if they are shear bolts, it, it did its job. It, it broke the plow before it broke my three point arm. So kind of happy about that, that uh, this bolt took all the brunt of the uh, whatever hard I hit and not the three point arms. But yeah, anyway, like I said in the beginning in this video, I was originally planning on smoothing all this out and putting in almost like a lawn. But now that I got it plowed up and it almost looks like a cornfield, I may be thinking about planting some corn. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think on that or if you'd do something different with this. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, click that subscribe button, and check out some other videos. Thanks for watching.